the 1960s and 70s, a time of revolutionary changes, powerful movements, and poetry? That's right. Today, we are exploring an iconic piece from that era. Welcome back. If you ever wanted to step into the rhythmic world of the black arts movement, you're in for a treat. Today, we're exploring Sonia Sanchez's electrifying poem, Right On, White America. That's Sonia Sanchez, a trailblazer of the black arts movement. Her poetry, a blend of blues, jazz, and raw emotive content. Sonia Sanchez was born Wilsonia Benita Driver in 1934 in Birmingham, Alabama. After the early loss of her mother, she relocated to Harlem with her father, and that exposed her to the Harlem Renaissance's literary legacy. A significant figure in the black arts movement, her formative years were marked by the civil rights era's turbulence and activism. She was educated in New York City, and her academic journey and personal experiences interwove with her commitment to civil rights, making her not only a poet and playwright, but also a fervent advocate for African-American rights and women's rights. Her works reflect the amalgamation of her Southern roots, the vibrancy of Harlem, and her deep-seated activism. But what makes Right on White America stand out? Let's break it down. First, the formatting. Traditional poetic forms, eh, Sonia says not today. Her poem thrives on rhythm. It's almost like musical improvisation. The intertwining of jazz rhythms and poetry is a hallmark of Sonia Sanchez's work, and it's a particularly fascinating aspect of her artistry. Let's look further into how the formatting in her poems, like Ride on White America, can evoke jazz rhythms. You see, in jazz, there's a significant emphasis on improvisation where musicians play off one another and create music spontaneously. In Sanchez's poetry, this can be mirrored in her unpredictable line breaks. These breaks may not always align with traditional poetic expectations, but they capture a rhythm and cadence reminiscent of a jazz musician's improvisational solos. And beyond those line breaks, you might notice a lot of open spaces in the poem's formatting. Sanchez's poems use unconventional spacing on the page, with words or lines spaced out more than in traditional poems. And this can be likened to the pauses in jazz music, where the silence or space is as meaningful as the notes played. These spaces allow for reflection, introspection, and anticipation of the next line or phrase. The formatting of the poems also places stress on certain words or phrases. Jazz is known for its syncopated rhythms where beats that are usually emphasized are played as off beats. And in her poetry, the emphasis or stress on words or syllables in unexpected places creates a kind of textual syncopation. This disrupts a reader's expectations and mirrors the unpredictability and complexity of jazz rhythms. And this integration of jazz rhythms and structures into poetry, it was actually a revolutionary act because it combined two powerful forms of black artistic expression. Sanchez, through her unique formatting and rhythm, invites readers to not just read, but also hear her poems in a multidimensional way, echoing the rich layers and complexities of jazz music. Now, to the heart of the poem. Sonia doesn't hold back. She criticizes white America's oppressive history. And it's not just about pointing fingers, it's about highlighting a contrast. Right on White America is a complex and emotionally charged piece that captures the zeitgeist of the black power and civil rights movements. And there's special significance to its title. Right on isn't just a casual phrase. During the civil rights and black power movements, right on was an affirmation, often used to show agreement, support, or encouragement. And by addressing the poem to white America, Sanchez is directly confronting the dominant culture and societal structures that perpetuated racial injustice. She also moves on to criticize the contradictions. Sanchez aims to underscore the contradiction between America's self-congratulatory narratives of freedom, democracy, and moral superiority, and the lived reality of black Americans. 
The poem suggests that while white America celebrates its achievements in history, it often neglects or erases the systemic oppression of black communities. The poem doesn't just highlight grievances. It also serves as a call for accountability. Sanchez challenges white America to confront its own complicity in the racial injustices that it have been and continue to be per perpetuated. And perhaps you notice the emotion in her language. Sanchez's language is raw and visceral. The poem is infused with a palpable sense of pain, betrayal, anger, but also resilience. It's not just an intellectual critique, but also an emotional outcry. And while the poem calls out white America, it is also an affirmation of the black experience. The rhythm, the language, and the cultural references all validate the feelings, struggles, and resilience of black communities. To fully grasp the poem's depth, it's also important to understand the historical context. The civil rights movement, the black power movement, urban uprising, and other significant events of the 1960s and 70s form the backdrop of this piece. This was a time of upheaval, change, and intense struggle for racial justice. Sanchez's poem reflects the mood of that era. In essence, Right On White America is not just a poem. It's a powerful commentary, a historical document, and a call to action. It captures the complexity of racial dynamics in America, highlighting the pain and frustration of black Americans while also celebrating their resilience and spirit. So next time you immerse yourself in this poem, remember it's more than words. It's a rhythm, a history, a call to action, and most importantly, it's a testament to the power of poetry to capture the zeitgeist of an era. That's it for today, Lit Lovers. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more literary journeys. And until next time, keep reading. <laughs>